Say good morning. We got the first three pairs that are headed over to our next pasture loaded up and before we haul them over there we're gonna go check on the middle pen because it looks like there's a cow standing by herself and it's kind of sprinkling and so if, we, if something had a calf in that pen we really don't want it in there especially if it's somewhat wet so we're gonna run out there maybe grab the calf throw it over the fence and put it in somewhere that's a little bit drier or set it nicely over the fence we're gonna chuck it <laughs> Like a shot put over the fence. Yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> so there is in fact a calf in the middle pen. I guess where are we gonna go with it? It's in a good spot for now, but I mean until we get back from delivering the mothers. So we got to the bow place, they got their water tank, they got a line of trees for protection, they got that bale feeder which I welded up a couple videos ago. And so they got it pretty good here. They got grass and it's hilly. And so this is better than anybody else is gonna have it. Those two are in this one. Go. Ooh. Slippy. Come on. You can do it. And they also got a protein tub sitting up on that concrete over there for a little bit better nutrition than this hay bale. Not much fast, huh? Yep. I'm gonna head over and turn the water on. That newborn calf in this middle pen is on the other side of this uh, windbreak. I'm just gonna make sure it's doing good. And the plan is once we feed these heifers here, we're gonna chase those two through this gate and they're gonna hang out for the next 24 hours in this pen just to make sure that calf is doing good and make sure it figures out how to drink. Oh yeah, we need that sun to poke out. What'd you do? I plugged the feed away. That's pretty hard. There's a few different techniques we can use to unplug this. One of them is we start the PTO and right away it backs up before it goes forward. It went just a little and it doesn't go much. And if you wait too long, then it just gets tighter. Uh, another thing is we can shut the tractor off and dad can actually use the bucket and basically run into that reel and try to peel it backwards but sometimes it's just too plugged and that doesn't work either arms are getting tired gloves are getting full of ground hay so we're gonna use our other strategy where we push on the reel with the load I have an idea so we can get our arm underneath the the part that's squished in there we could put a chain underneath it and wrap it all right yeah I can see it spinning oh yeah I think it went yeah you can see the reel spinning in the back okay my dad would say when I was younger, don't do it again. You scared me. <laughs> I would like to 
have your calf on this side of the fence. Right by the feed bunk, it'd have a really nice spot to lay. And it will, it'll yeah. find it, yeah. So that cow can eat out of this bunk. I'll have to get her a couple of buckets of water. There's a, I'll fill that tub with water, I suppose. You may have saw on my Instagram or maybe in this video that there's a red tractor sitting in our yard. No, we didn't buy that. We just traded it in our uh, VT and that's what they're using to pull it back to where we sold it to. I forgot to shut the water off again. It's probably running over. Just in time. What'd I tell you? That baby was gonna find a good spot. So we have some good news which started off with bad news, but this cow, she's a second year heifer, hefferette, whatever you want to call it. And uh, two days ago, she actually dumped her twins. And so they're both premature, but we got her up and we have a friend that had an old cow that just had a calf and she's so old, she really doesn't have any teeth left. And so we're gonna go over to a friend's place and grab this calf. And that'll save this mother because she'll have a calf and we won't have to cull her and she'll uh, have a new baby. We got three tags to calve and also we got three. <laughs> I'm stupid. We got three calves to tag, including this one. Then we got to water her. One had one out in the white building last night. And then what else calf? Cornfield. Oh yeah, that one in the Field. That's a big, that's a dollop. What's that? Is gaggle? That's a gaggle of calves, right? <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, hey, come on. Uh, oh. oh my, she likes it. Yeah, she says I don't want to leave. The nice thing is she ain't attacking yet. Knock on wood. She looks like she could have a, she could use a sandwich. I think, oh, you're okay. All right, all right. You gotta go eat, girl. Or is Hi. it Ellie? Ellie, get Hi. out. Hi. All right, so we're, uh, we're to the feedlot, picking up that feedlot calf. Way over there on the other side of that hill, and here's the gate. And so we're gonna run over there, pick her up, run back, and run back. No, no, you're thinking, isn't it mean to take a calf away from a mama? Thing is, she's pretty old and she can't eat very well. And if she were to raise this calf, she'd be losing weight constantly, making milk for it because she can't intake enough and she just can't keep up her own bodily maintenance. The nice thing is we're saving the life of a really good second calf cow. Young cow that is really nice. and She only had one calf. Yep, and so this cow is gonna be, it was gonna be processed in the near future anyway. And now we're, we're, we're kind of saving a young, nice young cow's well, life. Well, if she wouldn't have cal calved before she went to market, So dad milked it just so we can get this calf a taste and give it a little energy and hopefully this little bit will get it going and get it standing up and drinking on the on its own.
Now it's out. Good thing we came over to the bow place to check on these three pairs we dropped off this morning. Let's see. Well, there's one on the other side of the fence over there behind that tree. There's one right there. Do you know where the third one is? Where are your children? You think it's going to run across this 30 acre field? Well, no. Oh, there's the other one. Look sleepy. at that. They're sleepy. We can sneak up on them. I said, them. I didn't like the wind. I found a tree. That was a heavy calf. Kind of wrapping up today with the calf that we took off from our friend's place. Now we're gonna take the tractor. We gotta move the bunks again on the cornfield because it's getting sloppy. Dad almost got stuck again with the uh, the feed wagon. And I was thinking it but you look here we've been driving through a lot this area and the crust kind of broke and this is what's underneath it's just liquid mud it's just you know if you come in here with something heavy enough and you break through this top layer you're just gonna dive in it's just so saturated it's just straight water underneath there it's crazy dad my spring break got extended another week Sounds like I get the spring break this year. You're gonna stay here and help me, huh? Yeah, well maybe I can go to Mexico now. Uh, how about you stay here and help Kev? Mm. Next week is typically our busiest week of the year calving. Oh. It's gonna about do it for this video. I don't know what we did. Stuff with calves and cows. Don't forget to check out the merch. We got shirts and sweatshirts and we got hats and a sticker. Um, also, we got Instagram accounts if you want to check them out. All the links are below. So thanks for watching this one. And, See you next uh, time. And if Mountain Dew wants to sponsor me. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll, uh, I'm here. All right. See you guys. <laughs>